Ezra Miller got charged with robbery in Vermont. Burglary, you swine. But yes, Ezra Miller did get charged with burglary in Vermont. How? I don't remember it. I forgot. They broke into a house for beer or something. It was something so useless. I, I don't recall. We looked it up. I mean, I guess I can look it up again, but it was something so unbelievably dumb. Uh, out of all the fucked up shit Ezra Miller has done, what they're finally, finally getting them on is burglary for a beer or something. Yep, missing bottle of alcohol. God damn. Oh, I also forgot about this part. That uh, mom that's been living with them, surrounded by guns, is also an unlicensed, unlicensed cannabis farm, which is kind of wild. I didn't know that. Ezra Miller must be the version of the Flash that's just the shitty person. You're talking about Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash is a real character. It is just some dude who hates the Flash. So he just does everything to make the Flash's life worse. But sometimes it's really petty. No way. Yeah, it's real. You've probably seen him in that viral clip where it's the, uh, It's me, Barry. You remember when you prematurely ejaculated in front of whatever her name is? I'll just pull up the clip. Remember when you were making out with your first girlfriend? And you came right as she touched your leg? It was me, Barry. I jerked you off at super speed so it'd seem like you nutted at just a woman's touch! Well, yeah, that's the one that floats around all the time. It's a real character, though. Granted, I, I don't think DC's brave enough to have a supersonic meat jerker in official lore but he does just do everything to make the flash's life a little worse in the cw show he fakes being in a wheelchair to fuck with barry how does that even fuck with barry <laughs> so every time barry sees him he's just in a wheelchair how like how does that make barry's life worse yeah i guess unless barry just really hates people confined to wheelchairs i suppose so just like roll in front of him and maniacally laugh knowing that Barry's uncomfortable. He pretends to be a caring mentor. <laughs> See, like, that's super lame. In fact, I don't care, Barry, and I'm not teaching you good things. Haha. <laughs> He's such a goofy character. Why does Reverse Flash... So why does Reverse Flash hate the Flash? The top 10 worst things Reverse Flash has done. I have to know. Learning that you're intended to become your idol's greatest rival and a psychotic mass killer isn't really the best day in the office. However, it happened to Eobard Thawne, aka the reverse. Flash, I know he actually does kill a lot of people. Of chaos. But what are some of the so this might be a serious top Thawne 10. Has ever done over his various and seemingly infinite incarnations. After his research on the Speed Force while at residency in the Flash Museum had gained some traction, Eobard fell in love with a reporter named Rose who had been hired by Central City Science Today to interview him. However, God. He looks like such a dweeb. Engaged. So his future self interfered with the timeline, killing Rose's fiance in an attempt to get her to love him, but it didn't work. So he proceeded what? to kill every man she had started seeing after her fiance, and eventually every man who she had ever dated at all. So how does that help him though? This guy's just a fucking idiot. Friends. However, she continued to just brush off Thon's romantic advances, eventually retaliating physically when he attempted to kiss her. In anger, his future self traumatized the reporter as a child rendering oh, her mute what? and causing her to be institutionalized what? for the rest of her life although if she was still friends with the Ebard well, no, full well and who writes this this actually feels like some like something i would have read as a, like a child on deviant art so his crush never loved him so his future self killed her, her boyfriend she still didn't love him so he killed every man on earth until it was just the two of them. And she still didn't love him. So then his future self traumatized her as a child, rendering her mute and institutionalized. And now they're married. This is incredible. What great lore. I'm causing a few of you to rethink your relationships, huh? In at nine, I mean, if that's what a healthy relationship this sounds sound like. like a lot, but trust me. During the events of the Flashpoint comic arc, Barry brought back to Batman a letter from his father, who was alive in the Flashpoint timeline <laughs> as Batman. It's the only contact that Batman has had with his parents ever since they died. Oh, so no. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Oh, wait. That's right, Thon decides to rip it to shreds so that it couldn't even be reassembled. It also didn't help the time. What? 
I mean, it's it's only he only wrote two sentences. Like at that point, just knowing that his dad wrote him something is probably good enough. I don't think this one's too bad. A message sent across time, a letter to your dead son. I'm not the hero of this story. Was it consoling Thomas? Oh, was it consoling Thomas, knowing he would have it? That though he lost you, he could always see you loved him. Did that make you feel better, Thomas? As you burned. I mean, okay. Either there was an original timeline where Barry's mother didn't die, but he still so became he killed the Barry's mom. Or Joe did a whole other thing. After being stranded in our present after killing Barry's mother due to a lack of speed, Thon decides that the only way to get back. Pardon? After killing Barry's mother due to a lack of speed, so she died of being slow? She couldn't run a four second 40, thus she died. You're too slow to exist in this timeline, Mom. You're cringe. Oh, you got trapped due to a lack of speed. Ah, okay, so he was too slow to make it back to her. So she died because her son isn't fast enough. Gotcha. All right, I thought it was the mom who wasn't like up to snuff with the track team. Similar to what Nora does when she helps Barry destroy the Thinker satellite in the season four finale, advancing time by five years. This time, Thon advanced it by six years. Using the face of another man to train Barry, gain his- Oh, uh, this was the fake mentor thing you to mentioned. Get back to his own time. These soldiers are accompanied by evil versions of Green Arrow and Supergirl. The evil version of Flash- They didn't even change Supergirl's costume. The evil version of Supergirl is the same Supergirl, but I guess just with shady morals now. They couldn't even give her a cool evil costume. The evil version of Flash is missing. However, he doesn't. They did. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't a picture series, of her. Okay. Which this crossover also technically has a crossover with, but they're just brought into real life. Same kind of like how they did with the Vixen crossover. But the evil version of the Flash in this crossover, oh, you bet your ass it's Thawne, wearing Wells's face no less. Presumably, having killed the Barry of Earth X, Thawne helps Overgirl and Dark Arrow lead a group okay, of fascist that's, soldiers that's on better. the attack. In the process of killing Barry's mother out of anger, since he couldn't manage to kill Barry. Barry, Thon ended up framing his father for the murder and gets him sent to prison. Obviously, this wasn't really avoidable because of how time right. works or whatever, but this still causes Barry a great deal of pain. I, mean, I, I would imagine. To be highly intelligent and to have a particular appearance. However, as he grew up, they became concerned what about What in life. the fuck kind of art is this? My name was Eobard Thon. I was an only child. Bro, this family... It's like the Jetsons. Wow. I mean, I would have guessed this is a villain already. This whole family. Hoping that caring for a sibling would help Eobard adjust. His They're from the future. Second son. Man, even if they are from the future, what, what happens in the future? Everyone gets hit by an ugly beam? Like, what is going on here? Like, everyone's like, like their face is elongated and wrinkled and I don't, it's weird. But then he was caught by Robert, who was an officer in the science police. This caused Eobard the a great deal of pain, which is understandable. Oh, I have to look the, I have to look them up. The science police? What do they tackle that the normal authorities won't? I see you didn't factor in the baseline variables here. You're going to jail. What do they do? Stop people from researching dangerous shit? I guess, but would that not fall under the jurisdiction of the normal police? If they're, like, researching weapons or something? Arrest flat earthers. Ah. Uh, so they, anyone... <laughs> they they arrest anyone who has conspiracy beliefs. Uh, Alright. I, I, I can get behind that, I guess. Well, given that your brother's altering reality. It is mentioned in Judeo-Christian religions, and it was an ordinary spear before Roman soldier Longinus used it to pierce the side of Jesus Christ after he died on the cross, resulting in its immense supernatural what? powers. The second season of the- You telling me Jesus Christ is in DC Comics? Alright, excuse me, I need to look up- uh, What kind of powers did he have? Jesus- <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth, <laughs> New Earth. <laughs> he, he was one of Charles Xavier's mutants. Oh wait, that's Marvel. Whatever. The resurrection of Christ is disproven by science. <laughs> what a cool story arc. Wubba lubba dub dub. Wow, I mean, they really bring a lot into the fold here. But then, I mean, he is public domain, so they have every right to. Healing, molecular reconstruction, resurrection, weather manipulation, and exorcism. I feel like there's so few instances in comic books where an exorcism is a helpful power. Like, it's such a tedious process. 
Who else has the power of exorcisms in the DC universe? Oh, Constantine makes sense. You're telling me Su- Oh, wait, these are trending pages. Oh, actually, no, wait, these, these are characters that perform exorcisms. Who the fuck did Clark Kent exercise? He performed an exorcism on Batman. I, I, bro, I need to start reading DC Comics. Holy shit, this sounds unhinged. Wait, he just got, like, ordained by the Catholic Church or something and they gave him the authority? He manages to kill Barry as a child, as he set out to do so many years ago. <laughs> or I guess Will set out to do, I don't know, time travel is weird, man. Anyway, he- Yeah, I'm a little confused. Why did he keep targeting his mom? He could have just killed Barry, like, as a kid. It would have been easier, I guess. Like, what's Barry gonna do as a child to fight back? Oh, because he wants Barry to suffer. Right, I keep forgetting. Like, his main motivation is just to make his life miserable. True. So it would defeat the purpose if he killed him. So why? Why? <laughs> okay, why don't I just look it up? Okay, let's see. Why does Reverse Flash hate Flash? He hates the Flash because he was so damn obsessed over him that he started to become like him, only to realize his destiny is meant to be his greatest enemy. So that really ruined his life and made him hate the Flash. To me, that sounds like he doesn't really have a reason to hate the Flash as much as he does. The Reverse Flash is one of my favorite villains within the DC Universe. He's so psychotic, he's so crazy, and his entire purpose True. is to just mess with Barry Allen, the Flash, one of my favorite superheroes, in which Jeff Johns wanted to reinvent the Reverse Flash to be someone significant within the Flash's life, to be his Joker, per se. And it was at that moment that we got the reverse flash that many of you know today. The one that has been in TV shows and in cartoon movies and in the video games, the psychistic and psychotic things. Classic storyline titled The okay, Return of Barry Allen. Thawne becomes Barry Allen in a sense. You see, in his original origin, Barry Allen went to the future where he found Eobard Thawne <laughs> using an old Flash costume to commit his crimes. Barry Allen destroyed the suit and- Why is Eobard Thawne so fucking repulsive? Like this guy looks like inbred. Every single goddamn panel I've seen of this guy makes him look truly abhorrent. Maybe that's why he's just so goddamn mad. This led down a long path that would involve Barry Allen running into the future to live there with Iris until he was needed. I love, I, this is so old school comic. Get up, get up, you can't be dead. But he is. And Flash killed him. That is vintage. Because in his second origin, Thawne is still a scientist in the future, but this time he went back in time to replace Barry Allen. He even had facial reconstruction to make it happen, and he stole the cosmic treadmill from an antique shop. He then went back in time and he learned that he was in fact the Flash's greatest enemy, not his replacement. This caused a break in his mind, and he was convinced that he was Barry Allen. Central City had forgotten about him. He mm, battled against Wally rough. and Jay until Wally tricked him into returning to his own time. Okay. You see, those were the only two appearances of Eobard Thawne that were- Still not, like, a really strong reasoning to hate him that much. Like, I still, like, I, I don't see the real drive. Like, yeah, it's frustrating, like, damn. So I can't replace him. He tries to murder Wally West's kids in front of their mother, Linda Park. The only thing that saves them is Jay and Bart Allen. But he then quickly defeats Jay, and he threatens to kill Bart. He is, of course, stomped, and he proceeds to These inform Barry that everything wild. that has ever gone wrong in Barry's life is because of Thawne. Even when he would, like, fall down the stairs into the basement, Thawne tripped him using super speed. When he <laughs> lost a friend, that was because Thawne messed with him. To seal up Like, see, how, how can you not appreciate that? That's so stupid. <laughs> When he fall down the stairs, it's because Reverse Flash came and tripped him. That's like some shit you would hear Alex Jones say. Like, ah, the reason why this is in my search history is because uh, 11th Dimensional Alex Jones actually came and framed me with it. That fucking trickster is at it again. This is such a wacky character. Holy shit. Are all comics like this? Right? Like I said, I haven't really kept up with comics much, but my Jesus. Fucking 50 different timelines and 400 different alternate universes. My lord. Is that fun to keep up with? That just seems like a headache. And it feels like there's never any stakes. I remember I watched a video on the death of Superman on how it actually broke comics. And it really feels like that's super accurate. They just I really think they need just like one like single canon timeline. And they can have all the spin-offs elsewhere. But they, I really think they need to stick with one like actual canon timeline like condense all of the ideas take what worked what didn't work from all of the other ones and make like an actual single line to follow 
I just feel like that'd be much, much better. Maybe they do. I, I don't know. But it seems like all of chat said that this is how they go. They've done that several times, but it always gets rebooted. Then it's completely worthless. This is a fun little uh, rabbit hole. Yeah, Reverse Flash is super goofy. Like, fun goofy. 